again, Chris Shattuck with buildamodule.com, and I'm going to spend a little time talking about PHP debugging. So, when you get into development work, uh, you're going to run into errors, and there's a, an evolution that developers go through as they start to find techniques to identify where these errors occur. So the first thing that we end up doing is using the echo statement or print statement in PHP to echo a string uh, on, the str uh, on the screen so that we can see what's going on behind the scenes. Um, but that's uh, really limited because if, if we're trying to pinpoint an error, there's a lot of information that we're not getting. So we might use this technique to find out if a string has been set, uh, what it's been set to, but what do we do if there's an array or an object or uh, we need more more background information. So, so this uh, we end up using this to, to find out also if uh, functions have been triggered. But it, this is uh, this is the simplest technique. It, it, it's used all the time, um, but there's a way better way. If you start to develop a little uh, into PHP and you learn some some of the more uh, obscure functions, you'll end up using something like this. So, uh, let me work out of this function uh, string of function calls here. The get defined varis function is pretty useful if you use that in a function, or uh, this is particularly useful in Drupal templates if you don't have a PHP debugger available. Uh, what it will do is grab all of the defined variables in that scope. So if you're in a function, it'll just uh, uh, grab all of the variables that have, have been defined in that function. So variables that have been passed to it, uh, global variables, those type of things. Um, if we step out, um, we see var dump, uh, the var dump function. This is really useful too. What that will do is take any variables that get passed to it and output it in a formatted um, structure. So you can see if uh, something is an array and it'll organize it nicely by key value pairs, uh, it outputs objects or strings um, or even collections of all of these things. So that's kind of handy. And then the die statement uh, kills the page after that's been printed. So if you look at the source of the page, you can see that uh, you can see the entire format of text, uh, text and you don't get um, all of the other text that might get outputted as well to to try to sort through. So this is really Thank you for watching this preview from buildamodule.com. On our website, we offer a number of free videos as well as several others that are available for a reasonable price. Come check us out.